What is the chance that tomorrow will be a sunny day? How likely is it that you and your best friend wear the same color dress on Saturday? What is the chance you will throw the number six on a dice? Probability is all about using mathematics to describe chance. Probability means how likely it is that something will happen. We use a probability scale to know, more precisely, when an event occurs. If we label zero as impossible, and one as certain, we can place events on a scale like this. Between zero and one, an event can be placed anywhere on the scale with a 50% chance in the middle. Another use of probability is to distinguish between expected outcomes and real outcomes. For example, tossing a coin. You expect that there is an even chance of getting heads or tails. The probability of getting heads, in this case, would be the ratio between the number of times, that is 1, you can get heads, and the total number of outcomes, that is 2. That means that the probability of getting heads when tossing a coin is 1 over 2. If you roll a dice, there are 6 possible outcomes, and the chance of getting 4 is 1 out of 6. Remember this formula to help you do the calculations. Probability equals the number of times a given outcome occurs over the total number of possible outcomes. Sometimes it will occur that it is difficult to find the probability of an event happening. You can then do an investigation to calculate probability. When investigating, you compare the real outcome of a given event with the total number of possible outcomes. This can be done by calculating the relative frequency of a given outcome. The relative frequency of an outcome is the ratio between the number of outcomes obtained and the total number of possible outcomes. Try this. If you toss a coin 10 times and get 4 heads and 6 tails, what is the relative frequency of getting tails and the relative frequency of getting heads? Pause the video while you work it out. Well, the frequency of heads is 4 and the frequency of tails is 6. So we use the following method to help you calculate. Relative frequency equals the number of heads obtained over the number of tosses. That means the relative frequency of getting tails is 6 out of 10, and the relative frequency of getting heads is 4 out of 10. Now you know three ways of how probability experiments can be done. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.